<laughs> Hello, good evening. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. Oh, that was a hard act to follow. Oh, especially when you weren't expecting that one. <clears throat> My name is Ian. Always be prepared. Oh, brace. That's what we're going to learn tonight. I'm going to stand over here. Always be prepared to take that punch <sighs> by bracing those abs. We'll get started with our warm up and then we'll continue on what we've been working on, which is our get ups, our heavy holds and our core braces. It's gonna be yep. such a good time. Today, I'm always ready. We're going to start down on the floor. So come on down. You'll need space today. If you have a kettlebell, great. If not, you can borrow that one. Hands on the floor, knees under hips. Let's first just do a quick check-in with our hands and then we're gonna actually breathe in this position for a couple. As we check in with our hands, I want you to think about your breathing. Close your mouth and start breathing in and out your nose as we go here. Looking at your hands, pushing your thumb, your index, your middle, your ring, and your baby finger heavy into the floor. Now check in with your elbows. Try to screw your elbows in so your blood donations face forward. Check in with shoulders, pull them down under your ears. And your head neck is pretty neutral. You're looking at the ground underneath your hands. Start shifting your weight forward into your fingertips lightly, and then push your fingers into the floor to go back. Try that one or two more times. Maybe each time drifting a little further forward, keep those shoulders packed, bracing abs as you do this. Be gentle, and then come back to a normal place. Just come up for a second, shake that off. And we're gonna breathe. I actually misguided you. We're gonna breathe in our kneeling position not in our all fours, we'll come back to that in a second. Either in a tall kneel or a low kneel, find this, close your mouth, place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. For a couple breaths in and out the nose, I want you to make your chest fill with air so that top hand moves and exhale. Do that two more times. Inhale into the upper hand and exhale feeling what your core feels like. Inhale into that upper hand, seeing how much you feel like you can feel. Exhale. Now I want you to do the same thing, breathe into that lower hand. So inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly shrinks. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, shrinks. As you do these next couple breaths into your belly, imagine at any time, I could come through your screen and try to punch you in the stomach. I want you to try to keep your brace as if to take a punch while you're breathing here. Like you're breathing under the shield. Inhale, keep that brace and exhale. One more time, inhale, keep that brace, exhale, keep your brace and relax. Not easy, simple, not easy. Think about that in your life. Come back down to our wrists, all fours. Now our wrists are nice and ready to be here. We're gonna- Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. If they don't love this, neutral fists, dumbbells, tall kneel, and just do my head neck from there. But if we're okay down on all fours, pay attention to your head neck now. I'd like you to tuck your chin so that your head grows nice and long, like you're reaching long out the crown of your head, a nice extension of your spine. Then I want you to keep tucking your chin and your neck will start to bend or flex as you pull your chin towards your chest. Keep your shoulders pulled down, your elbows straight. Now keeping your chin tucked, slowly go back to that long crown reaching away from you and then pull your head up into a gentle extension. Try not to crank on your neck looking up, but just extending. One more time, flex on the head neck, pulling your chin towards your chest, shoulders down. And then keep that tension still on the front of your neck, even though you're starting to look up with your head. Back to a neutral head, crowd pulls long. Little bit of a rotation here. Imagine you're checking your blind spot rotating on your head or your neck, back to center, rotating the other way, still keep, keeping that crown long and away from you. One more time each way. 
is it easier one way than the other? Do things come with you or pull as you do that? We have one more head and neck and then we'll get off our hands. I'd like to do a lateral flexion. So an ear towards shoulder and then pull your head back through center, ear to shoulder. Pull your head back to center. One more time each way. Imagine if there was a piece of Bristol board on your back and on the back of your head, it would be touching your whole body. It wouldn't slide off. So your head isn't cranked up towards the ceiling. Back to center, push off your hands, extend your hips, Woo. shake that out. The cue I used for that first one anyways, was I tried to keep my Adam's apple down. Doesn't matter if you have one or not, think about keeping that Adam's apple down as you're trying to extend through your neck. Isn't yours your Ian's apple? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, let's Maybe. sit down here. If we can sit down here, let's. If we need to be in that tall kneel, also great, or even standing. I'd like to slide our rib cage from side to side. From so side to from side. side to side. Arms out. Hips don't move. That's great because they're blocked in this position. Take your rib cage, slide it across your body. To center, slide it across your body. Center. Sliding one way, pulling tall. Sliding the other way. Tall, one more time each way. Shoulders are not tipping. We're staying nice and parallel with the floor. Back to center. Excellent. From here, let's extend those hips and tuck those toes back behind you and try to sit back on those toes. How does that feel? Oh, the old lunge foot. Oh, the old lunge foot. The Stretchy lunge through the plantar foot. Plantar part of the foot, stretchy through the toes. Now push your hips forward, untuck your toes. As you sit back this time, is it easier to sit there after you just did that? Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, little flexion extension of the spine now. So we slid from side to side. Now I want our chest to lift and to flex forward. What I don't want is that movement coming from our low back. So we're thinking of only our T-spine or our upper chest. Hands on legs. Pull your blades back and down. Now I want you to think about your blades this whole time, but keep them stationary, don't let them move. As you flex or round forward, don't super round with those blades. They might round a little bit, but don't super round. Now, tight on your abs. It, try to push your chest or your heart forward, lifting up. Think about where your head and neck is. It's not cranked up to the ceiling. It's just looking a little bit forward. Shoulders are pulled back. I'm trying to lift my chest. Now, flex round again. Not too big flex round, not humpy McHunchbacks. Now extend, lifting that chest up again. It's like I'm pushing my knee through your mid upper back, trying to get you to extend your spine. Tuck your chin one more time. Round forward, blades stay, and then tight on abs, extend, lift up. Back to center, relax. Great, we have one more quick set of hips from all fours, and then we'll get rocking with our mm, bells. This is a crowd favorite slash Not. least favorite. <laughs> Hands are under <laughs> shoulders, knees are under hips. We're gonna draw our hip circles from all fours. Let's take one leg, bend it as much as you can, like you're holding a tennis ball or socks behind your knee. Don't drop them. Slowly start kicking the ceiling with that foot or that leg. Check in. Are your hips square to the floor? I'm also going to put a bowl of water in your back. Don't spill it. From this kicking the ceiling position, you're going to slowly externally rotate, lifting your knee towards the side. Don't drop your socks. Don't spill your water. That knee is lifting and coming around the side towards your elbow. As it comes underneath you, keep it tight. Don't spill your punch and put your knee back underneath. Same thing, other direction, so different. Bend your knee, hold the socks in the back of the knee, bowl of water on your back. Flex or bring your knee towards your elbow this time. Then lift it out to the side of your body. Don't tip. Then internally rotate as you draw a circle with that knee around towards the back behind you where we originally started. 
Hips are square to the floor. Kick the ceiling with your butt cheek and then pull the leg back underneath. Come off your hands for a second. Same thing, other side. Was that magical for you? Ooh. Good. My goodness. Same thing, other leg. Ball of sock in the back of your knee. Hold it. Bowl of water on your back. Don't spill it. Kick the ceiling by extending the hip and engaging the glute. No twisting. Start in externally rotating as you draw that circle with the knee to the outside and lifting that leg all the way around, knees coming towards elbow and then pulling underneath your body and going back to where it started. And then the other direction, bowl of water still on you, knee bend, pull the knee towards hip flexion, lift it out to the side, internally rotate as it kicks around all the way behind you, square the floor, try to kick the ceiling with your cheek and then pull the leg underneath and relax. Let's flip over onto our back and we're gonna explore our get up here. Nice, slow moves. So I'm deciding which way I want to face. You never know with that get up. You never You know. never really know which way you're gonna face the camera until it's a little bit too late and your yes. bum's right there. What I would suggest for this little get up drill is hold something that weighs between zero pounds and five pounds. Yeah, th that's, no, not that, Ian. Not that? Not that, that's oh. 96, oh. 79 pounds. Okay, okay. So I have this little antique weight. Yeah, that's too heavy for me too. I'll have this really heavy, really Great. heavy. Great, we have our now. antique weights here. I do like a little bit of a load because it teaches you where your shoulder is in space and where your arm is. But if you don't have a load, you have your own arm. We're practicing our get up here. So I, oh, let's start right fresh. Cuddle onto your Ooh, side. Oh, it all starts with a cuddle. Cuddle. Bottom hand grips your belt. Two hands roll to your back. Two handed press. Take that top arm away. Place it on the floor about 45 degrees out from your body. That same leg is in the same direction as that arm. The arm with the kettlebell, shoulder packed or pulled out of your ear, and that leg is bent foot flat on the floor. I want you to feel that foot heavy on the floor. Think about pushing into the floor and extending that hip forward, and then relax. And do that again. Push into the floor, extend your hip. This next time, we're going to push into the floor, extend our hip so much, and pull on our elbow to get to our elbow tall position. Think about, <laughs> I forgot what this is called. Think about this shoulder of the elbow that's on the floor. Are you at the beach chilling? Or are you packed, pulled down? Pack that shoulder. Now, find your hand. Same thing here. Think about that shoulder. Is it rounded forward or is it packed and pulled back? Looking at your belt, let's lift those hips up off the floor. Sweep the leg underneath. If you're okay here, could you check out your distance? If you bent your elbow, does it almost hit your knee? Is it about a forearm distance away? Back up to that hand. Now, the hand leaves the floor, hips extend. Keep that arm vertical overhead. Front foot moves to our lunge. Using both legs, drive into the floor to push yourself up to tall. Same side, back down. Leg you can touch. Drop back lunge, nice controlled. Front foot opens. That foot is in line with the knee. As we hinge, we're gonna hinge and rotate under our load. Hand finds the floor. Now shift your weight over that hand. So your shoulders are stacked on top of each other. Your wrists are stacked. Bracing with control, lift that back knee up. Sweep the leg through. Butt lands underneath you. That shoulder, oops, don't do that with your bell. That shoulder is packed. From here, find your elbow. Again, keep that shoulder proud out of your ear. Push away from your elbow to get back to the floor and your back. Two hands, pull your bell down and cuddle. I know Wait. Lauren's an Iron Maiden, but I didn't think that she'd scratch her face with a dumbbell mid get up. You know? Oh, I just was touching little, my other elbow. Just, just a little, uh, 
Flex um, right there. I was pointing to my other shoulder. Yeah, this, uh, this shoulder right over this here. It actually gets heavy after a while. This wood one got heavy after a while. We bought these in Switzerland and carried them home. They, yeah. they, well, actually, no, we had to mail them home because we couldn't get on the plane with them. Anyway, cuddle. More on that in the blog. <laughs> cuddle. Roll to your back. Two hand and press. We're on the other side this time. Pack your shoulder, take that second arm away. That arm's on the floor, heavy. That same leg is out to the side, heavy. Other leg is bent, foot flat. Pack shoulder. First, extend that hip by driving the foot into the floor, pushing that hip through. Go back to your back. Repeat, push into the floor, extend your hip. You can see how that shoulder starts to come up and to your back. This time we'll do it so much that as we push, and extend and pull an arm, we get to tall. Shoulder, proud shoulder, not dumpy shoulder. Proud shoulder. Find your hand. Check it out here. Dumpy. Packed, proud shoulder. Keep that. Brace. Still try to look at your bell as you lift your hips and sweep your leg so the knee lands to, goes to where your butt just was. Knee finds the floor. Let's check it out. Did you sweep? Oh, Lauren, that was a bad sweep. A different sweep. A different sweep. Can your elbow find the knee? And then back to your hand. From here, hand leaves floor, hip extends through. Front foot moves to your lunge position. Both legs hook to tall. Keep that arm vertical. Drop back lunge. Nice controlled descent. Front foot opens. About a 90... 45 degree opening. I don't know what that is. Chop your hips, hinge, and rotate under that bell. You're the trigonometrist here. I know. That's confusing. I think it's just 45. Now shift your weight so your hands are stacked, your shoulders are stacked. Ready? Brace. Lift that back knee. Sweep through to your elbow. And then control down. There should be 90 degrees. Pull the bell down. And cut him. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Let's put Time our... under tension like that, right? As we said, we've made a very light implement in our wood dumbbell and a vintage I think it's like a kilo. trinket from our travels. I think it's about a kilo. You can make it heavy with that time under tension. Mm -hmm. It's fun. So put that down. Come on up. Oh. Grab a quick sip. So I can get, we're going to revisit. Our heavy hold today that we've been working on, our suitcase and our rack hold. Mm. So with or without a dumbbell, let's, <laughs> if you have a dumbbell, let's get it. If you don't, that's okay too. Heavy grocery bags full of laundry detergent could, I guess, work too. Yeah. Or just an imaginary one. Imaginary pattern. We're going to do our hinge, pick up our bell and hold it in our suitcase carry. Our suitcase carry is just where we're holding the bell by our side. It's not touching our body. Our shoulder is nice and packed, and we're keeping ourselves up tall, fighting for tall versus lazy over here. Okay, we'll hold that for about 20 seconds. Hinge, bell goes down. Same thing, other side. What you need to do, stand over top of your object. Chop at the hips to hinge, vertical shins, nice long spine. With one hand, grip your object. Pack your shoulders, stay square to the floor as you stand up, extending your hips. Move the object to one side. Probably narrow your stance a bit. Check in, is weight even in both feet? Make it. Now, lazy, active, pulling myself up tall. Blade, up and back, bell, or weight off of my body, holding, spot squeezed. Still taking punches, five. Four, three, two, pull the bell in front of you, step a little bit, stay square as you hinge to put it down, up without, shake it off, same thing, other side, over top of your bell, hinge, grip, pack shoulder, up as one unit, it's beside you now, feet could narrow, weight even in both feet, both cheeks squeezed, abs on, take that punch, Blade up and back, hold, five, four, three, two. Pull it in front of you, stay square as you hinge to put the bell down. Let go, 
stand up without. I'd like to work on our planks with that too. Double core. Let's that go. drill right there, that single leg deadlift drill mm. for our swings wow. and cleans. We're going to wow. get into that too, Ian. That's pretty awesome. First, we're going to plank, then we we're going to do that. So let's hinge she get down there. I meant single arm, not single leg. Oh, hinge. Well, we're going to do those two. <laughs> hinge, vertical shins. Tip yourself forward, walk yourself out into a high plank. That means from your hands. Hands are under shoulders, toes tucked. I want you to lift your butt like a mountain peak. Now, tuck your ribs to your hips. So right now, my tail is to the ceiling. I'm going to tuck under, start dropping my hips, pull the floor together, squeeze. Squeeze your butt. Brace your abs to take a punch. Pull your shoulders down. If I came through the TV and tried to push you over, you wouldn't move. Hold tighter. Five, four, three, two. Push back. Slowly walk your hands to your feet. Try to come up via that hinge. So let's get those hips dropping, that vertical shins. And then stand up tall. Nice. Mm -hmm. From here, we're going to go a quick squat. And then we're going to do another heavy hold. Let's find our sumo stance. So slightly wider, toes slightly turned out. Tall, tall. Tuck under. Pull yourself down. Place one hand on a leg. I want your arm to push out and your leg to pull, push in. And meet your tension for four. Three, two, relax, pull the leg off the arm. Now put the arm back on the leg and then pry the arm, the leg into the arm again for four. Three, two, relax, push the leg back, drive down to stand up. Take a second. Burning, burning. Burning, burning. Same thing, other side. Tuck, pull yourself down. Hand on leg. Leg pushes in, arm pushes out. Five, four. Three, two, relax, pry the leg off the arm. Arm on leg, push in, push out, hold. Four, three, two, pry the leg off, push down to go up. Oh, shake it out. Heavy holds, heavy holds. Heavy holds. We're going to rack it. We did this last day. This is new. Standing over top of your bell. Watch the first time. I'll demonstrate really quick, and then you can try me. This is where I hinge, I grip one, I cuddle two, I zip straight up my body, and my bell comes around into my rack position. In this position, my wrist is nice and straight, my forearm's vertical, and it's not resting on my chest. Again, I'm tall, I'm not chilling. Tall, two hands, unzip, bell look back down between your feet. Shall we? We shall. Over top of your bell, hinge. Grip with one hand. That's the side it's going to. Second hand, it cuddles. Pull, zip, rack. Hold, check it out. Vertical forearm, straight wrist. Abs brace, butt squeeze. You're tall, growing up, taking that punch for five, four, three, two, two hands. Unzip your jacket, put the bell down, stand up without. Same thing on the side. Hinge. First hand grips, that's the side it's going to. Second hand cuddles. Zip. Rack. Elbow in. Vertical forearm. Butts. Abs. Tight. Couldn't move you. Couldn't move you. You're a brick wall. Even if it's an imaginary dumbbell, you're still a brick wall. Three. Two. Two hands. Hinge. Bell goes down. Up without. Great. We're back to our plank again. Plank, plank, plank. I'm just gonna move that off to the side. This means a hinge. Chippity chop. Walk yourself out. Hands under shoulders. Let's do our mountain peak. So butts up. Tuck. Drop. Pull the floor together. Squeeze. Actually pull your hands towards your feet as if you're trying to ripple the floor underneath you. For five. Peel up those four, floorboards. Three. Two, hips go back. Gently bend your knees. Walk your hands back. Try to get your shins vertical. Extend. Toe. Great. Squat time one more time. It's going to be good. We're going to do some weight transfers. I want you to stand with your feet in parallel, heels touching. 
Then from your cheeks, turn out. Then put weight on one foot so you can point the other foot. And don't reach too far away from you, but place that foot down. Okay, from here, tuck under, pull yourself down. I want you to straighten one knee so that you force your knee over your other toe. And just find this here, thinking about how you could maybe balance here. Hips are forward. Now push that leg away to go the other direction. Straightening this leg, knee over toe. Hips forward. Push away, slide across. This time pushing so much that you could think about transferring onto that single bent leg. Three, two, toe ball heel. Push to slide across. Transfer or think about it. Single leg. Three, two, toe ball heel. Stay low. Push away to go over. Now here, maybe extend at the knee and hold that balance. Three, two, knee pushes over toe. Toe, ball, heel. Push over. Knee over toe. Extend, knee over toe, slide across. Last one, push over, transfer, extend. Bonus marks, toe balance, three, two, control down, knee over toe, toe ball, heel last time. Push, transfer, extend, gold stars, Three, two, control down, knee over toe. Both feet come down to center, push down to go up. It's almost time, but I'm gonna advocate that we do one more set of holds and one more set of weight transfers because I love the way my core feels alive when I hold those heavy loads. And I really think that that step out squat's fun. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more quick set. All right, Ian, one okay. more quick set. Grab that load. Let's do something a little bit fancy, but not too fancy. If you have a little bit of room and you'd like to spice it up, instead of just stationary suitcase hold, you could march around your room with your bell. All right? Farmer walks. Nice Farmer's little, walks. Nice favorite. Hinge at the hips. Stay square as you pick up your bell, drive your hips through, pack your shoulder. Put the bell beside you. Maybe you're just stationary. Maybe you march on the spot because you're in a little closet room. Otherwise, you could take it for a little walk. As you're walking with your farmer's carry, notice that you should, no you should not be walking on a balance beam. So no foot in front of the other. Try to keep that normal gait pattern. Keeping the shoulder up and holding for four, three, two. Bell comes in front, hinge down, up with out. It's so hard, especially to talk and keep <sighs> upright and I feel that. show off. All right, other side, hinge, grip bell. This isn't that heavy either. It doesn't have to be heavy. Pack shoulder, up as one. Keep that shoulder up, abs on, either marching or walking, not letting that bell pull you around. A regular heel toe walk, spreading those toes out. Backwards is tough. Four. Two. Come back to center. Bell pulls in front. Hinge. Up without. All right. You want a sumo, Ian? Sumo, one last go. This one's fun. Or do whatever you want. But I was going to do the same. Do the oh, same. Do the we'll same. save this. We'll save this very fun sumo squat for next week. For next time. So Let's stay just, yeah, tuned. Little hook there for yeah. you. Yeah. All right. That first so, position cue, go from there, Lauren. So in parallel, squeeze your cheeks, pivot on your heels. Point, and then slowly transfer weight to that foot. Maybe that's wide, too wide, just wide enough, check it. Tuck, lower, push to go over. I want to go transfer right away. So transfer, hold. Three, two, toe ball, heel, push that way to go that way. Transfer, hold, three, two, toe ball, heel, staying low, creeping across, point, transfer, let's extend right away, push those hips forward, two, 
One, knee over toe, toe ball, heel sliding across, over, transfer, extend, hips through, three, two, knee bends, toe ball, heel, last time. The favorite one. Over. Those gold extend. stars. Extend, gold star medal, three, two, slow down, knee over toe. Toe ball, heel, pull across, push away. Extend. Gold medal. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm feeling really good ah! up here right now. <laughs> I was. Ah. Okay. Now, sorry, slow down. Knee over toe, slide to center. Ah. Man, when you get a good balance. Barbara Ann Scott, Tessa and Virtue. <laughs> You name it, we have Canadian references galore, affections for kettlebells. My personal favorite is our ballet instructor. I know. So, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, obviously. thanks for joining us very much tonight. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. <laughs> I had a great time at our kettlebell class. I hope you did too. Any comments or questions, let us know. Barsandbells at gmail.com. Check out our membership and website if you haven't already. And... Start seeing you around in those advanced classes as soon as you perfect those skills. Tomorrow is our more advanced kettlebell class at 5 p.m. Strength and Swings. 9 a.m. Recharge and Restore on Friday. Check out the archives. We'll see you next time. Awesome. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Goodbye.